Hi everybody. So I wanted to shoot this video on a pretty unique ceiling fan that's in the collection here. Um, and uh, it's actually a really special ceiling fan to me um, because it was my grandparents' fan that hung over the bed in their bedroom for the entire time uh, I've been alive, which is over 40 years. Um, and it, it's the first time that I've had the fan up and hanging um, since, uh, well, uh, it's probably been five or ten years since I had the fan up and hanging and I've had it in storage since then, but uh, I really wanted to, uh, you know, get it out of storage and get it up and hanging because, like I said, it's kind of a special fan to me. And, you know, you might have watched some of my other videos and seen the other fans that I have in the collection and uh, you might say to yourself, oh, come on, why would you mess with this? Well, just because it's a sentimental, sentimental one to me and, uh, you know, has that family kind of family connection. They bought it new. And uh, so it is a Phil Rich fan manufacturing company ceiling fan. And it says up there, not very clearly, it says the Houston, Texas, USA model ceiling fan. So I know Phil Rich Fan Manufacturing Company based in Houston, Texas uh, called a lot of their fans Windmaker. Uh, I've never seen any literature or advertisements on this ceiling fan before, so I don't know if this was actually called the Houston, Texas, USA model ceiling fan, but kind of makes sense since Phil Rich Fan Manufacturing Company was based in Houston, not very far from where my grandparents lived. Um, but uh, anyway, so I'm, I'm really happy to finally get this fan up and hanging um, and be able to use it because one of my biggest challenges with using this fan is that it's a non-reversible motor, so it only blows down, um, and it is a factory two-speed fan, so it has kind of a uh, fast medium and a really unusably high fast speed and um, you know so it got used mostly on the kind of fast medium speed which was really pleasant but you know created a still created a fair amount of breeze um, and one of the things that I you know when I was a kid really really little and I was starting to you know kind of get really interested in ceiling fans, um, you know, I'd go into my grandparents' room and look up at this fan, and it was the big black fan that hung in their room. And it was always so quiet, you know, and as a kid. And then, you know, when you start getting older, you start paying a little bit closer attention to these things, and you start noticing what sets things apart from, and, you know, why you like certain aspects of fans. And um, for me, you know, I, I love the fact that this fan uh, you know, had kind of a, a taller, kind of, kind of a taller shaped motor, not big and flat and pancake like most of the, the fans, um, made, you know, for most of the time. I kind of like that the motor was taller and they, they like to call it stacked, kind of a stack motor. Um, and, uh, I really liked how, you know, the blade hub is kind of unique. You know, it's this, two-piece blade hub that's uh, the blade hub arm brackets I almost want to say but the whole thing is a bracket you know it's all one piece all one flat piece and then they just took the arms and they bent them to the appropriate degree and then that cylinder uh, fitting in the center that slides over the shaft the rotor shaft in the middle is set with two set screws right there and uh, that little, this little piece right here is a plastic cylinder that rides around that center shaft in the motor there, and that plastic spacer keeps that rod from rubbing uh, the rotor shaft in the middle. And I thought that this is kind of a unique design in the sense of um, the, you know, that there's no switch housing underneath the blade hub there this light fitter is the switch housing um, because here is the here is the pull chain that controls the fan speeds 
it would uh, you'd pull it once and it would go on to low probably and then you'd pull it again and it would go to off and you'd pull it one more time and it would go to high and you pull it again and it would go off so high off low off or low off high off whatever um, and then on the other side of the fitter would be the control for the light um, and so it was a nice clean design um, and you know I think Phil Rich fan manufacturing probably uh, I think this fan is probably circa mid 1970s I want to say it's got these really nice dark wood finished furniture grade wingtip blades there and um, you know, I think Phil Rich probably you know were, was just searching for you know air conditioning was expensive at the time and people were looking for ways to cool economically and ceiling fans were starting to come back and so uh, Phil Rich started must have looked around for the cheapest and easiest way to make a ceiling fan that would be appealing to um, you know people uh, in the area and so um, they they turned this out and um, you know as a kid I was looking at this going you know gosh that motor that motor looks really familiar well it is that motor under there looks and is uh, I'm sorry is an Emerson K63 motor um, which was used on a lot of the Emerson made uh, universal series fans otherwise called I think heat fans or blender fans um, and uh, so that is the same K63 motor you'll notice that the ceiling canopy up on the top and the top motor cap those are exactly the same except for just some cutouts for brackets um, they're both they both have the same writing on the top uh, canopy and on the motor cap they both have the same writing so it's probably just you know parts consolidation or something like that but um, so going back to you know using the fan and I just had it in storage forever and really wanted to use it but couldn't because those high the the speeds the fan would run at are just too high you know the medium is good but it's not really a bedroom fan um, in the sense of you know my hearing is pretty good pretty sensitive my grandparents had terrible hearing so you know they'd run this fan over their bed and you know sleep and have no problem but they didn't hear all the squeaks and rattles that came along with this design uh, that comes with having the fan fitter attached to that center shaft directly um, so you know it, it squeaks and rattles around a little bit and it's not a, it's not a, a super 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 quiet fan anyway I wanted a way to control the fan um, without any audible resonant frequency which is motor hum um, I wanted to be able to control the fan at a low speed and until they came out with these capacitor based wall controls um, you know I didn't know how to use this fan um, on I didn't know how to use the fan um, and uh, so that it wouldn't hum at a low speed but these new wall controls uh, are great so I I selected this one it's a Leviton wall control it's got four speeds super high high medium and low so here is low And hopefully, as you cannot hear, the motor is very nearly silent, just as it should be. No, no motor hum. So it's perfect. You know, something interesting I never really realized. So for the downdraft, this fan spins clockwise. And I guess most modern ceiling fans actually spin counterclockwise when they're, you know, pushing a downdraft. Huh. So that's a very nice slow low. Um, completely quiet. Perfect for nighttime when you need to sleep. So slow that it doesn't cause that fitter on the bottom to rattle. Excellent.
one more speed up. The control calls it medium. It's, it's still a low, but it's a little faster. I would probably use this speed, except you can see what's happening. The fan is starting to wobble around. I think the bedroom where my grandparents had this fan hanging was a, probably an eight foot ceiling and the fan, as you can see, hangs down on, the, on its original down rod, so it's kind of low. Um, I think they must have hit it somehow or whatever. Anyway, you can see how much it's wobbling there. One of the blades, one of the blade hub arms is bent upwards and it's causing one of those blades to ride out of plane. So for me to fix that problem, I'll have to slide the blade hub off and try and use an arbor press to bend that blade hub arm back into, into balance so that it won't do that. But they used it for 40 years with it just like this. They just never ran it this slow. Anyway, so that's quote unquote medium. But here is one notch higher, which according to the control is high. This speed is the factory medium fast. It's really pleasant actually. It does cause a little bit of wobble, a little bit of rattle and squeak, but it, it really moves a nice breeze around here. Really nice. So the light on the bottom of the fan um, is not independently wired of the motor. In other words, the fan is made for a constant source of power with a wall switch. You turn it on and then you control the fan with speed with the pull chain switch and then you turn the or you turn the fan to the off position and then you turn the light on and then you can use the wall switch to turn the light on and off. But there is no independent control of the light. So unfortunately that's bad for the wall control there because the wall control, if you turn the light on, then the then unfortunately the light is drawing power from the fan motor, so it's actually slowing the fan down just a little bit. And realistically, I'll have to wire the wall switch up so that the the light works independently of the fan motor. Um, because right now the way it's set up. If I turn it to high, the light goes brighter. If I turn it down to medium or low, the light gets dimmer. So that doesn't really work very well, but it is what it is until I go ahead and rewire it. So that's medium. And this is the high speed. Let her rip. Tear it up. I mean, this thing just, just moves. I mean, it just hauls ass. I mean, it's just such an unusable high speed. It's so, <laughs> it moves so much air on high speed. It's not quiet. It's not quiet and it rattles that fitter around. I really don't know how you'd use it on that. So I never use that. I would just run it on medium, and now I get to run it on on low, which is exactly the way that I want to run it. Anyway, so thanks for watching the video. If you've made it this far, sorry, the video is kind of long. And uh, so this is uh, this is what it is: the uh, Emerson Motor, Phil Rich, Houston, Texas model ceiling fan, probably circa, I don't know, mid-1970s. Hopefully, if someone out there has an advertisement for this fan, if you'd send it my way, I'd love to actually see it. And I do kind of wonder if the fan ever came in uh, other colors, maybe white? Um, and I also, this is a 52-inch fan. I know that the fan 
also uh, came in a 36 inch model, which personally have never seen, but I have watched a video on one or two. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.